So this is the part that you guys don't see. I'm trying to stick it. I'm trying to hang in there with JB. Early mornings, he, we get up so early. I don't know why, but Monster Energy, if you're watching, all right, we got these incredible trips we do. Happy to get sponsored anytime. <laughs> All right, heading to Bridgestone Golf this morning. Figured we'd uh, take him some food from Chick-fil-A here locally. We got a big old bag of uh, delicious food. Heading to Bridgestone, we're gonna do some behind the scenes stuff. Probably a, a ball fitting, I think. Maybe, we'll see what happens. We'll see if this rain holds up. The destination is on your left, Bridgestone <laughs> Golf. Our fancy friend here on the maps just spoiled it for you. Coming in at Bridgestone Golf right here. We're standing here in front of Bridgestone headquarters. Gonna head in here shortly. Probably gonna do a behind the scenes for you guys. See if we can show you a little bit of the area uh, around where they're working. More than likely gonna be talking golf balls today. They're such a big proponent of the golf ball industry, and uh, I, I think there's a lot of stories to tell, so stay tuned. All right, we're here in the main conference room at Bridgestone Golf. See a lot of this stuff on the all around the office. Talking about safety mission. Talking about quality mission. Talking about environmental mission statements. Pretty clear it's a big part of the company. We also have uh, a pretty fantastic wall full of stuff. I'm not sure what I can actually show you, but uh, I'll show you the golf balls, the golf ball lineup. Oh. There we go. We're learning as we go. Golf balls, Tour Vs, everyone knows them. XS, RX, RXS, E12, 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 E6, E6. Some lot of extremes. A couple golf clubs you guys have seen before. Our main man, Freddy. And then a great wall representation of their tour staff. Yeah. Anyone ever heard of that guy? I think he won the Masters this year. He did win the Masters. <laughs> How do you do at the US Open? Not as well. Really cool. Wait, the US Open hasn't happened yet. Well, that's right, PGA Championship. The schedule, man, it always gets me. Love, love that setup. Josh is still here. Got Chick Fil A ready to go. For the group not quite done our monsters yet. Yeah, pretty fun room to be a part of. Uh, I love it when these companies bring their products and put it front and center for us. I think there are a couple of things we can't really show you in here, and, and I'm pretty sure I cropped it out, so not a ton of editing we have to do. That's good. Um, but pretty soon here we'll be with the staff. We we'll talking, I, like I said, I think golf balls today. Um, probably bringing a lot of content to you guys, really explaining what each ball is representing and uh, what you can expect. And I'm excited because I played these balls for a long, long time. We have this insane behind the scenes look at stuff going on in Bridgestone headquarters. And I think I've cracked the code. B330 is coming back. <laughs> What's that for? Me and what? How's your seal? We're here at the Bridgestone R&D Center. They, uh, they're gonna fit me for some balls. We're gonna use the Tour B X Blade. 
looks pretty fantastic. We got an eight iron here. I think we're gonna do a driver fitting too, which should be a lot of fun. And again, this all comes down to what ball works best for me from the current, I believe, Tour B lineup. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna do some Q and A. Should be a lot of fun to experience everything that Bridgestone has to offer. They have a GC quad, the and they have a track man. <laughs> they use the GC quad. All right, we just got finished doing a uh, ball testing. As you can see, we went through RX uh, and X. Didn't really mess with XS or RXS. I don't seem to have trouble creating spin, which is probably why we didn't slide that way. So to the guys out here, we say thank you. And we're gonna head inside now. It's a little bit wet, so I'm trying not to trip over myself. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and go inside. Uh, Adam and I are gonna do some Q&A. And we're gonna be talking about how, well, how the fitting went, what we kind of experienced, and then we'll move into maybe some additional questions I have, especially considering I've been playing this ball for so long. As you can see, you're getting set up in here. There's Adam there. Get ready. If you're a tour player, golf ball, you want the spin around the greens, we're obviously gonna fit you into the tour line. So we just got done at Bridgestone Golf. Had a full ball fitting driver and eight iron. That's a first for me. I'm not used to doing eight irons in fitting, but it was, uh, it was a good experience. Josh, were you surprised with the results? Uh, a little bit, not as much me because I knew your game, but I think uh, our online community will be a little surprised. Yeah, we had Adam work with me, phenomenal guy. Uh, yeah, not much, not much else to say there. Uh, a great facility, really kind of interesting that it's laid back off the main building pretty peaceful back there overall very much so sorry i'm driving through traffic <laughs> heading back towards atlanta but uh very much so their fitting facility where they fit their tour pros is excellent the grass is perfect the balls are perfect gc quad out there really a, just a great place to get fit and not just tour pros also recent th beer had a great experience yes uh our fit like a pro winner he got a chance to go out there a couple weeks back and experience exactly, kind of exactly, a little more over the top than what you just got, but that kind of experience. Over the top. I think he's talking about my golf swing. Unbelievable. So we have Mizuno this afternoon. Should be uh, really interesting conversations there. Hoping to talk about the new shaft optimizer tool. Uh, and then who knows what we do from there. We're so stay gonna tuned. find out. We're gonna find out. We're here at Country Club of the South, visiting with Mizuno. Josh is driving, I can't believe I'm allowing that. Got a good look at the golf I could throw course you right here. <laughs> some, uh, some nice looking golf holes, some nice looking homes here too. We're heading down to the other side of the range, somehow, some way. Maybe down around here? Yes sir. I think, uh, I think we're talking all things Mizuno Shaft Optimizer 2.0 which is really exciting because I remember back in the days using the original optimizer, learning a lot about my swing, a lot about uh, a lot about how I transition into the ball. So it'd be fun to see what has changed and uh, maybe some additional information about my swing. Maybe we'll even get Josh on there. We'll see. <laughs> it's a possibility though. All right, we'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Here we are at the Mizuno Performance Institute. 
That's what they're calling it. So I got hired to basically help run the testing here. And then, but I've since moved off that position. But this is literally, we used to have this over in Japan. Basically, we have we have all duplicate equipment in Japan. Okay. So it used to be if we wanted to be tested or our stuff or better stuff, whatever, we had to wait for it after the drive. Right. And over there, they're bringing As you can see, we got a lot of good stuff. Uh, just going down with Chris and some of the guys here. We're going to talk a little bit of shop and then we'll probably get into some of the optimizer. You're recommending based off a of mark which is being generated by rotation. Good. We're here. We're going to test the new shaft off optimizer 2.0 from Mizuno. We're going to. 3D, my bad. <laughs> um, we're all going to take guesses here. We got a collection of guys who just finished watching me hit some pretty decent looking eight irons. Oh, really? <laughs> so I'm I'm the first to guess. Yes. So no pressure. Are we doing full gamut or what you guys have in the cart? What we have in the cart is the only thing we'll be able to judge off. Do you have S taper in the cart? We don't have S taper. Mm. All right, then I'll just say Project X. And I don't want to say 6.0. <laughs> um, I'm just going to stick with the shaft, Project X. Sure really? Good. Yeah. Any predictions I never from Bill Price? In club fitting ever? Because he always gets you in. Wow, trouble. that's that's club incredibly club boring. So I'm going to say it's going to be a steel shaft. <laughs> Chris? I'm guessing C Taper Light X play. Jeff? Project X LZ 6.5. And I am guessing that he is going to get into DG 105's S300 hard stepped. Ooh. I like that. All right. I like it. Okay, so, so all you have to do is when, this, so when it turns red, so you, when I hit it right now, okay, uh, you will see this will be it'll turn red. Mm -hmm. When it turns red, just keep it still. It's kind of like, you know, you get to go. We are going to. Get this all done and we will be back to you guys soon. So based off of this, your impact lie on everyone on a six iron is 64, you know, 0 0.157805, 64.105669, 63 point. Yeah, so basically out to seven digits. Okay. <laughs> so basically, so so we can sit there, this is your lie based off your three swings. So if we went to We're in a room here, this, guys, that's why they're shadowing. Right? So at this point, if we finish it here, okay, that's your average club head speed. So your average club head speed with a six iron, I mean, with a seven iron, is 93.33. Your tempo is 5.67. Go down is four. Kick angle is 6.67. Lead factor is five. Now all these will scale of one to nine. Okay. So based off of that, if we do our recommendations of all available. You're going to get, based off your tempo with your club head speed, you're going to have to have 125 to 130 gram shafts, based right. off of that. So you're going to need KBS Tour Hard Step X, C Taper X, Soft Step, Diamond Gold X, Soft Step, and then you keep on going down, straight in Project X 6.5, LZ 6.5 Hard Step, AMT Tour White X. <laughs> so is I closest to the Project X? You didn't give any information. I said stock Project X. <laughs> I think uh, I think Jeff here was closest. Yeah. You were at like sixth, right? Sixth house was better. No, six five. The fourth one. I'm giving it to Jeff. There you go. <laughs> nice. So what 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 creates the weight? Because I've played all. Okay. Of we just got finished shooting quite a bit of content at Mizuno, including the new Optimizer 3D. Uh, talked a little bit about JPX 919s. Went through the whole lineup. I uh, did everything I could not to hit a camera, and you guys will see what that all is all about later. That was Josh's idea. Yeah, I was a little nervous there at the at the beginning, but I had faith in you. Yeah, not too many thin shots out there. It, it was a really eye-opening experience for me, and, and I think a lot of golfers are going to feel the same way. They talk about how much goes into this this product, and two miles. when it comes down to it, you could be a totally different flex in one shaft to the next, or one manufacturer to the next, and it's really really eye-opening for someone like me uh, I got fit into a lot of internet-y internet shafts yeah and shafts that you normally wouldn't play uh, 
but make a lot of sense from an EI profile standpoint. Yeah, and then from there, we actually took those shafts from their fit car, took them out, hit them, and uh, I definitely found one that both went straight and pretty far. So it, it's hard to argue with the data they give us and, and the kind of information that the optimizer has. So I think now we're gonna head to the, wherever we're staying tonight, I'm just doing what I'm told here, but uh, we're gonna get there, check out some video, probably grab some dinner. Yes, sir. And we'll then grab get some ready. dinner, edit some video, get ready for another early morning rise tomorrow. Another early morning rise for a big event coming up here uh, over the weekend.